Hello, you ball bag biting buttock burgers. Jim Sterling here, and this is Go Kart Survival Menu. And this is a terrible, terrible noise. That's. Oh. Oh, we've lost the game already. How the. How the fuck did I lose the game in the menu? <laughs> Okay, back to the menu, with a better background noise now, thank god. I hope I win it this time. Um, I was making a joke about the fact that they didn't bother to put the word menu uh, somewhere else that wasn't part of the game's title. The game's actually called Go-Kart Survival, uh, not Go-Kart Survival Menu. But then I got a game over in the menu, so maybe it is all about menus. Uh, anyway, this game looks frighteningly similar to Survival Driver, a series that I've had terrible, terrible experiences with. Here we go. This is very loud. I'm not sure how to steer it. Hang on, let's uh, let's try and give you an idea of how slighted this, no, fucking get off the fuck. Oh my God, what happened there? Oh, blah. They don't adhere to physics. Again, I stopped hitting keys long before that thing actually stopped sliding around. Now I can't see. Now, now I can't move. Now I'm lost. Oh, fucking hell, talking of disasters. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is awful. But I think I can trust the quality on this one because the official trailer on the Steam Store page has a Fraps logo at the top. So you know what you're getting there. Love the logo as well. Right, it's time to select a track and actually play this dang old thing. Select, oh God, with the noises. Okay, so why is the background just like static, static? I have no idea, but level one. And here we go, loading that level. It's, that's a generic loading level screen that I don't think was designed by the a developer. Yeah, this is Survival Driver, but with go-karts. Oh my god. Hang on. Hang, hang, hang on. I've got questions about this. Why the fuck is a chibi warlock from Destiny driving a go-kart? And why the fuck is that brilliant idea not in a better game? Okay, so... I've played the survival driver games before. They're terrible. They're like this. Uh, the camera isn't following behind the car. I will have to manually do that. Um, but, oh, hang on. We're inside the vehicle. Um, oh, I got a game over. That's a shame. I was really sort of enjoying digging around in that go-kart's guts. But let's go back to the menu and see what else they've got going for us. Um... I did hit the menu, you, you all saw the menu button depress, right? Fucking hell. Oh, there's that noise. What a great noise. All right, level two, let's, uh, let's try and win this one. I like how the exhaust effect is just distorting and horrible. Uh, oh God, no, no, that's, no, please don't go inside the vehicle and the, and the driver, that's not good. Um. I, I can't quite describe how it feels to control. I've run up against this problem before, fittingly in another game exactly like this. Um, this is so bad. The camera being controlled with the mouse, and only the mouse, is unwieldy and requires me to sort of predict where the car's gonna be in order to follow it correctly. I'm glad that's over, but I've still got a video to do. So. All right, we're loading level three. So anyway, the tactile nature of this game is goblin shit. There's no other way to, there are many other ways to describe it, but uh, no, 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 get up. If there's nothing in this car. How is this vehicle even capable of- No, I don't want to see inside his art. I mean... Oh dear. That's gonna look like I edited it to give you a close-up, but no, it just gave me a 
a closer shot of the interior of this driver's rectum. So if you've ever wanted to know what a Destiny Warlock's chibi butthole looks like, there you go. It's, uh, it's not very good. The Destiny Warlock's chibi butt. Not good at all. So let's try and uh, do this again. Now, maybe going too fast is the problem. Because the game... Oh, yeah. Because the game's physics are... Oh, that's new. Now, here's the difficulty with trying to play a game like this while futilely attempting to provide some sort of earnest critique. I'm constantly interrupted by shit like this. Shit like this happening. This is... Yeah. I, I can't talk about the rest of the game now because we need to focus on this and how this has happened and why yeah there's no you can't even steer it move it nothing we can just sort of shake our head until it's game over let's try again i i kind of want to persist with this one just a little bit because just because it's the closest we've seen so far to a real racetrack something that could resemble a real racetrack I mean, I say racetrack, they couldn't even be bothered to put in some AI-controlled carts to race against. To say nothing of multiplayer, which of course is completely non-existent here. But we'll carry on, I mean, this is the furthest we've gotten. Um, no, and we haven't gone through the road yet. Oh, good. Yeah, well that's not going to happen, is it? Let's not land on our... No, we don't want to land on our head because bad thing. No, all of the bad... Thank you. Okay, can we get up? Thank you. Thank you so much. What a generous game. It comes to something when I'm grateful that the game will allow me to... We're gonna... No. Oh. We were so close, though. One more go, right? So whoever cobbled together this pile of Edward Furlong spunk is not listed as the quote-unquote developer of the Survival Driver games, although it clearly is. Methinks somebody has been changing their name. Uh, this is part of a bundle, though. There is a bundle of other games that basically all look like this. Shitty and horrible. And, yeah, we're not going to win this one. Because we're on our side and, you know, in the map. So, ah, that was that one. Let's... Let's see what... Oh, oh no. Okay, we're loading up level four. And, ah yes, the good old true line. Oh, yeah, sorry. They look like the sort of things you could knock over, but they're not. This is, in fact, an horrific minefield of obstacles. But yeah, these are true line storage containers over here. Uh, a staple of these games, these terrible, awful non-racers, and this was a dead end. This was a dead end with a clear glass window. You fucking bastard. You fucking bastard. So have I got to guess the right one? I mean, it doesn't matter now, and it never will matter. Oh... God, that's slices into your soul with a bread knife unpleasantly level five friendos here we go yeah this the camera is so close to the car that I can't see ahead of me let's move it that's that's as good as we'll get it but it's a straight line so I shouldn't actually have to move the camera get get out of the fucking wall I shouldn't have to move the camera again this oh do you remember the Mako from Mass Effect, the first one? And how horrible it was to control- Why are those two bollards having sex? Right, yeah, fuck the race. Um, well, fuck the bollards, clearly. Yep. That one is giving it to that other one. Right up its- Well, right up the arse, as far as I can tell. That was some hot bollard on bollard doggy. How about that? You wouldn't see that on any other channel. That's why I'm the greatest showman in gaming. 
Dear God, now we're on level six and it's the True Line containers again. Uh, two ways to go, maybe one's a fucking dead end, wouldn't be surprised. I feel like we went through some barricades there, but I'm not gonna... Wh whatever, it doesn't matter. What I like about this is that the Survival Driver games, which at this point I'll just have to link to in the descriptions if you've not seen them, or, or maybe I've played some clips already to show you just how bad those were. Um, they offered multiple vehicles. This is just the same car with the same big-headed warlock. And that's it. And we're... We're... Where are we? Oh, okay. Yeah, the car just decided to do a little bit of a spin. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I hit replay. I, sorry, I, I wanted to go to the main menu, but I wasn't I was too busy gabbing. So we'll, we'll experience this horrible thing again. We'll go this way now. And yet yeah, a dead end in a game that gives you less than a minute to beat each course. And it's so full of fucking hindrances. You never get to the end anyway. The dead ends aren't needed. The dead ends aren't a requirement. No one asked for those. No one needed those. Oh, for fuck's bloody ass! Come on. Why am I even bothering? There's no winning this. And there we go. And there we go. Game over. Right. Back to the menu. Oh, would really you never with that? Level seven, let's please, for the love of Christ, in heaven above us, get this done. Well, that was a wonderful lead in, wasn't it? Yeah, you're surely gonna make that jump. Oh my fucking giddy balls, come on. Oh, comfort eagle, for the, we'll, we'll, I'll do, it's, we, we will get up this ramp within the 20 seconds left to us. We'll get up this ramp. Okay, that was the smoothest we're gonna know. And yeah. All right, these eight seconds allotted. I am Captain Planet. Come on. Fly! Fly, Peacock. Oh. We're not having that. Replay, come on. This is as fast as I can go. We're at top speed. Why would you do that? Why? Why, why, why? I mean, that's it. That's it for that. I can't even get over one fucking fence. Fuck it, we're running the clock on this. I'm gonna sit here watching this for half a minute. You are going to as well. I mean, unless you skip ahead in the video, which, you know, you're more than welcome to. These are not assets anybody should be buying. So if these aren't included in some game guru pack somewhere, then people are way overpaying for their big headed kart racing wastes of space. Okay, so when I finished playing the game, I did my homework and went to track down the assets, and I think I found it. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a video for Moto Pro from Bullbuster Games. Uh, it's a package that has uh, basically go karts in it. Uh, with air control physics, jump fuel and damage system, and much more, apparently. And the really fucked up part is uh, what you're looking at. It looks like it controls a lot better in the basic demo that the asset creator put out. So that's a little bit interesting. And what's also interesting is the fact that this $20 package has many different go-karts in it, uh, many different features, but we get a racer and a vehicle. So they took an asset pack, made it much, much worse, and then put it on Steam. Video games. Right, we're gonna go back as far as we can go. And, and I'm gonna take my time with this, because, you know, I'm not, I'm never gonna win one of these races. I'm just not going to win. But if I can just get over the fence, and I can't say fairer than this. A and and I can't do it. You all saw that, right? I'm not just losing my marbles. I hit it dead on 
centre at top speed, top speed mind, and, and I couldn't get up there because the moment you touch the ramp, the collision is, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, yes! Ah, yes! Beat the game.